Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little spring vlog. It's been almost two-ish months since I've moved to Berlin and so much things has happened. It actually has not been the easiest and I, I had to go through a lot of my internal battles and really like face things head on but in spite of that actually i was really so excited for the onset of spring you know i got to meet new friends i also got to go out and see all these flowers bloom and all these little moments from going to coffee shops and doing journaling and i am really just so excited and so hopeful for the coming chapters of my life so i do hope you enjoy this vlog Just got my first booster. Actually, don't you're supposed to just take one, right? Yeah, this is the first time I got my booster, so this proof. And it was fast. So I also went grocery shopping while as I was at the mall. And I am having lunch now. Actually, I have to pick up a parcel later at 3. And I thought of just going like one time. But I don't know if my body can take it so I went back home first and took paracetamol and then maybe like just be a bit lazy for the next couple of hours. I'm having a really nice um, yogurt granola situation for lunch. Anyway, I'm really excited to pick up the parcel later because that is the Traveler's Notebook Limited Edition record passport set and i actually did not want to get it and then i thought about it and i was like maybe i get this and sell my plain traveler's notebook passport which is in the same like camel color so i'm really excited for that actually i just came back from a week-long vacation in the german countryside in thuringia thanks to ellen my really good friend and i'm at this like very calm do not want to overexert at work phase. Let's see how long this will last because the week before I took my vacation, my brain was just like expanded in the most uncomfortable way. And I think I needed to just let go of things and really be able to adjust. I mean, I haven't really vlogged since arriving in Berlin because I did not know what to talk about obviously it's been a really complicated couple of months since i moved 
not to say that everything is complicated, it's just that so many things had to happen, so many adjustments. I did not plan to go to Berlin this early in the year, but I had to do it for bureaucracy purposes. I don't know when exactly I'm going home. Not going home for good, but like going home to visit my family and friends. So I'm trying to be more in this like headspace where I can allow myself to just take my time. I've never been that kind of person, so let's hope that happens here in Berlin. And then I wanted to show you this book that I'm currently reading. Actually halfway, might do some reading since I don't really have anything else to do today. So I'm currently reading this book called The Comfort Book by Matt Haig. I got this from Thalia. It's like a bookstore here in Germany and I really like it. It's like my subway read and then I also have dog-eared a couple of pages and I really really like how it really is a comfort book so we're gonna be doing that today. and did a quick run this is actually my favorite um, yogurt because it's soy and it's peach flavored so I always buy this and of course I got it. how Asian is this actually my Bukok ramen favorites and then this is enoki mushroom it's one of my favorites when I make instant noodles and then I also got some pastries because I'm feeling hungry, so we're gonna have one before unboxing. So I ordered this from a shop called Kirokude. Um, it was recommended by Ellen and it's based in Leipzig. Also, the owner is really nice. I got to chat with her also. Her name is Anna and I was asking her I think like the day before on like how much the, the sets would cost so that I would have an idea upon checkout so let's see set this aside I actually got oh my gosh there are freebies I actually got extra things so I got this this was actually on sale it's a um, MD diary sticker. I wanted to use this for my work notebook, which is also Midori, so that I could like plot the dates. And it's a nice compact size. I think this is also like a sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. And then I got um, Mew print on stickers. These are actually ticket designs and they're transfer stickers. I really like the design. I thought it would be useful for future travels. And then we have a couple of freebies from Anna. So these are original stickers. I'll link everything down below if you want to check it out. Also these washi tapes, oh my gosh. We have a pet tape here with like floral prints. And then this one is also a PET tape, I believe. I really love like these floral um, tapes because you know it's currently springtime and it has that vibe and then these ones this is happy mail i think a happy mail washi tape rather i'm getting all my stationery so like mixed up right now and then this one is like glasses lastly this like window art tape is really gorgeous i can imagine like putting this on my journal pages so thank you so much to anna for sending these and the highlight of this entire package oh my gosh it's so pretty so excited so i ordered this from gustavson i think sometime last week while i was in thuringia because 
I wanted to get myself a small watercolor palette because the current one I have is actually quite big. I realized this while I was bringing it around while traveling. And also, I will say that this was an Ellen influence. So Ellen influence because she had the small one. And this store has a lot of watercolor essentials from the brushes to paints. And I've always been a Schminka fan. I hope to work with them someday. So let's take a look at my mini haul. Actually, most of the things arrived today. For some reason, they all like consolidated. So I think that, that was good. So we have a freebie here. Very spring, cozy vibes. And then let's take a look at the actual things. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wait, wait a minute. So, this is the main thing that I got. It's a Schminka palette. As you can see, this is my hand for scale. It's very portable. And I actually chose, I think, 10 colors that I could use for this which was really hard because Schminka has a really wide range of colors but I needed to factor in things like transparency and how it would be useful for water coloring on the go and also the colors that I particularly like using so I guess this is the color chart and actually this was quite expensive like just for this tin case but I realized like I don't think I'm going to buy another one of these anyway in the future so we have this and you have these like dividers so you can put in your pans there so as i mentioned you can choose the palette and so i chose colors that were transparent and ones that i would be using for watercolor painting oh this is a freebie we have a souffle pen candy stickers these are the pans okay I won't swatch them in yet, but here are the colors that I chose. But yes, I'm quite happy with my very small selection. So I have eight colors. And then lastly, I decided to finally invest in a nice brush. This is a really expensive one, but it looks like it will last me a lifetime. This is called the Da Vinci Maestro and it is number four so it really holds water well so i figured that i would get myself one so yeah that's my little haul from gustavson super cute so excited to put these in wanted to film this area because it feels so bittersweet it's my last weekend here in this flat I am renting it out from my friend and this neighborhood has been so special to me because the first time I moved to Berlin I lived in Berlin rather in 2019 I also booked a room in this same street and it's just like fate how my friend lives also on the same street, like a few blocks away. So I'm very familiar with this neighborhood. In May, I'm moving to a new Kies. It's Kies is like neighborhood in, in German. And I'm moving in with a schoolmate from the Philippines. So I'm really looking forward to that. But also like this little corner here has been my safe space for the past two months. So, so many changes are always like happening. I'm trying to be more like open about it and also this weekend i have to it's the end of april i have to start packing because i have so much stationery and actually i have to really figure out how to move properly i mean i've done this before because i've also moved from different apartments but hopefully after the summer we will be able to find a longer term flat so that's always been like 
something I've been thinking about at the back of my mind. But today I plan to go to a coffee shop. Usually on Sundays I'm not actually going out, but I've had this like craving to just go out and write because the last week I got the booster shot and I was basically bedridden for a good three days. Like I had very minimum energy and this really forced me not to work which was great because i realized that apparently i don't really have to work so hard every week you know i i put this really weird not really weird but i put this really heavy pressure on myself to have to perform all the time but actually i didn't really feel any like after effect of not working as much and I thought to myself, like, if I can just take my time, maybe things will work out. Because even my mental health was not so stuck. It was not so, you know, there are weeks where I get, like, really bad panic attacks or I, I just spiral down. And I was able to be at this, like, relatively calm state. And I wish I had more of that. It's so ironic because... Technically, my job, like being an artist, drawing, this is supposed to make me feel calm, less anxious, the art of making art. But then, because I'm so swamped with all the other responsibilities, I'm really failing to see how important it is to incorporate a lot of creative things into my life. So hopefully, I will do that in the next couple of months because one of the reasons I also decided to move is I already stopped looking at myself as an artist. I, I've been so focused on running a business, growing it, expanding it, only to realize that I don't always have what it takes for now. And honestly, I just want to be at this position where I just keep making and I keep creating and I have to get back to that energy. I'm slowly getting back to it, like with writing. So if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, I write essays twice a month. It's called Midweek Mail. But other than that, I just want to be able to find this like groove where I can create, feel good about it, share it, and just be, you know? It's so funny because I've been doing this for seven years, but nothing is ever so easy or at least i think it's not so easy so yeah hopefully when my future self watches this i would be a bit better and side note i got a new jacket <laughs> because all of my jackets are like winter jackets obviously i brought more stationery in berlin than my actual clothes and i have no idea when i can actually go home to get them but yeah i'm so excited i bought this jacket just yesterday from uniqlo not sponsored but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!